Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was How the sweetest they... intro. Damn. But I actually need advice. Oh please. Because I, I don't know how you're a mom. Yeah. I don't know how to be it's sexy so fabulous, and a mom. You well, are... you're pulling it off. I, I, I'm going to forget it. That's no advice to give. Like, as a woman, I, I, I feel like you're like my best girlfriend. Okay. As a, a, like a, a, a creature with a barely alive libido, I look at you <sighs> and I'm like, she's so hot. <gasps> ah! And I mean, you're doing Agatha right now. You're Agatha. <laughs> I love her so much. I love a witch. I feel like that this is exactly the, pl the part I should be playing at this stage in my life. And I gotta tell you, we got the hottest coven on the planet in this show. I'm Sexy. very excited for you all to see this coven. I, I was grilling you about it the last time. I was like, are there any secrets, any spoilers? Obviously that Marvel universe, I feel like, warns you that yes. you cannot say a word. Yes, and in fact, I know li I know less than I did last time. I, 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 it continues to unfold in ways that are surprising to me. Well, I can tell you it's in outer space this time. And it th is? No! Because that looked like, that looked like <laughs> suburbia. Yeah, right, exactly. We keep saying we're just gonna make up different locales for it every time we talk about it. So this time it's actually, it's just gonna be completely, it's gonna be a silent film this time. There's gonna be no talking at all in Agatha this time I around. I could watch you in a silent film. Oh. I could watch you do anything. Oh, true! Your leg, you are shaved. Okay, that's good to know. I, I haven't Not shaved. Not a little, there's a little bit of, but it's fine. No, 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 it's, it's pure as the driven snow. Okay, great. <laughs> it's perfect. This is a whole different ball game. Do but you no one shave right often? Now. Like, no. I, it took me three months to finally get to shave. Yes. And I was so, it's like, I feel like I, like I had a full blown movie makeover just by that. Me too. <laughs> I, I, because I have been like deep in it work wise, it's the let and all clothes have been covering all that part of my body. It's the last thing I think about and it has been so liberating. Yes. Like I'm like, ugh. Because like, I, you know, I know summer's around the corner and blah, 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 blah. But like right now I'm like, it's, it's all, honestly, I shaved for you, not knowing what I was gonna be I wearing. I think I subconsciously shaved yes, for oh, you. Oh, see, there's, <laughs> um, <laughs> Your new show mm. is not only my favorite new show. Oh, true. It's so entertaining, but it also pulls at my heartstrings so much. It's emotional. It has a very cool tone. Mm. Like, this is not your mother's show in the sense of like, there's a modernity, there's yeah. an emotionality, and you're an advice columnist, you become one. Yes, she's not great at, she's, she's a, you know, she's not right, in her real life, she's not quite there yet, but through writing these, through answering these letters that she's been receiving, she kind of finds a voice that she doesn't know that she has. Liz Tiglar wrote, adapted this book by Cheryl Strayed called Dear, called Tiny Beautiful Things, which is a collection of her advice columns under the name Anonymous uh, titled Dear Sugar that she had been writing for this um, uh, mag online magazine called The Rumpus for a long time. If, it's essential human reading if you haven't read it. It's like incredible letters and, and, and responses. It also made me question, like, who is the person giving us advice and what is their real life like? Yeah. Um, and we have a clip. Let's just take a look. Yeah. Let's just start with how you're feeling. Hmm? I am feeling hungry. I am feeling tired. I'm feeling like a shell of a person. Like I'm staring into an abyss. Yeah, I get it. 
I mean, I'm not there yet, but I think it's really common for women your age to feel this way. I mean, you've spoken before about your insecurities with getting older. I thought we were talking about me giving money to my and brother. The age gap between you and Danny. It's not that and big. And the way our society treats women over 50 as irrelevant. I'm 49. learn how to live a life through this show. Okay. Like, you know, I'm not playing a character, I'm me. I'm always learning from everything everybody says. Me too, woman. I mean, I'm just a big old sponge. Ugh. Will you get into, like, Dear Sugar and give our audience some advice? I can do the best I can! <laughs> Catherine's offering um, up some words of wisdom and a surprise question from one of her old co-stars. 